Hey what is up guys, Tavi here and today I'm going to be showing you how to do astrophotography because I just realized today that I've never done it on my channel and that's sad because it's so awesome. All you need to do it is a DSLR, tripod, and a clear sky which I have all of them right now so it's a perfect time to do this. With camera settings there's not really any set in stone numbers you should use but just to start I put the ISO at around 800 and the shutter speed at about 10 seconds and then you can work from there to get the results that you want. If you're into video and don't just want a boring old star photo, you can make a star timeline Lapse. All you need is an intervalometer. A lot of cameras have these built in like my Lumix G7 right here But if you don't have one you can buy one that attaches to your camera pretty cheap Anyway, it basically times the photo so you don't have to press the shutter every time you want to take a picture And you can just leave your camera out for a couple hours and see the stars rotating Anyway, that's about it. You just have to get creative and see what you can capture. Okay, so right now as you can see I have my camera locked off on my tripod pointed up at the stars that I want to capture and for camera settings, I have the aperture at 3.5, the shutter speed at 15 seconds, and the ISO at 800. One more thing I forgot to mention is that you want to focus your camera before it's dark out so you know what you're focused to and the stars don't get blurry. With that being said, let's shoot. So now I'm going to do a star time lapse, and here's an example of the intervalometer here. I can go to time lapse and animation set it to a time lapse shot and set the shooting interval to anywhere between minutes or seconds usually about one minute is good for star photography and then you can change the amount of images you want to take for that time lapse and in post you can stitch those all together and get a moving star time lapse